anniversary. It's our anniversary. We are one year old today. We are one year old today. Okay. See, we're acting like one year olds. Yeah. <laughs> so I am so, so grateful and so just immensely filled with love that we are celebrating our one year. One year ago, we finally decided to do our vlog. We've been talking about it for years. We finally decided to make the leap and share our life, our story, our journey with you and empower you, motivate you, talk about self-care and just be there for you like a sister. So today, sisters, because it is the one year anniversary and that is generally celebrated with paper gifts like cards and mementos. And I was looking online for some things that people generally exchange for their one year. So for our one year anniversary, for the health self care component of Call Your Sister, we are going to be coloring. Who does not like to color? I mean, seriously, it takes you back to your childhood. And guess what? I got this one with the puppies. This is for Char because she loves the chipmunks. And when she was a kid, I wouldn't let her look at it in the living room because I do not like their voices. And look what I found! Who remembers the big 64 crayon box? And it's got the sharpener on the back. I love it. I'm like a kid in a candy store. I love coloring. And I always loved to get the big box of crayons when I was a little kid. Of course, we were poor, so I didn't always get it. But, hey, it was always fun and a treat. And I never let anybody share my crayons. Not when I had the big box. <laughs> she was that kid. Yes, I was. Because you know those kids... They'll borrow your crayons and then they break them or they color down to the nub or it's a sharpened crayon and then they want to come back 15 times and use your uh, sharpener. It's like, uh -uh, we don't share these. These aren't sharing crayons. Hey, you're eating my apples and peanut butter. I took one. <laughs> We're about to have a major food fight here, folks. <laughs> so... As we are coloring to go along with that, we decided we'd have a little snack. So I have peanut butter and sliced apples. Sharice is enjoying uh, crackers and hummus and sliced cheese. It may look like I have a full glass of wine. This is cranberry juice. This is water. <laughs> Happy, one Happy year. anniversary. We also have part of our Sakatumi cake and we have our candle and we will light our candle and carry on. We'll talk about the meaning of first anniversaries uh, and how important first things are. Uh, the first step a baby takes, the first words that an infant speaks, uh, the first job that you go on, the first car that you are able to purchase yourself. And it's not your uncle's hand-me-down or the car your dad gave your older brother and now he's got a new car so he's giving you his old car that was your dad's old car that you rode around in as, an, as a kid. Um, th I'm talking major first. The first time you got married. The first time you fell in love. So we're celebrating firsts. The first time you took a leap of faith, which is what Call Your Sister has been for Char and myself. This was truly a leap of faith. And we appreciate and love all of our sisters who have come on board to support us and to share their journey with us and to love us as we love you. Uh, we are encouraging you, please share. If you have gotten anything worthwhile, if you have laughed with us, if you have cried with us, if you have shared with us, go ahead and share that experience by sharing our website with others. 
we want this to take over the country. Girl. <laughs> there you go. The universe. We want to be universally known as Call Your Sister. Yes. And one thing I thought about, and if you follow us, you recognize this jar. Um, the jar of quotes. And my friend Tori gave it to me as a graduation present in high school. And I still have it all those eons ago. <laughs> So, in honor of our one year, and it being paper, I wanted to read a few. But to make it fair, I'm going to have Via shake it up. Shake it up, shake it, shake it, shake it up. Shake it, shake it, shake it up. We got to shake it up. <laughs> I'm going to go in here blind. Pull out a few. Good job. First one. <laughs> I believe people should be brave, and I would hate to be subject to my own cowardice. Wow. You so want to read one? Be brave. Sure. <clears throat> As I choke on apple juice. <laughs> Nothing in life is for sure. The trick is to hold your head high and be true to your decisions. I like that one. I like that one too. And in honor of the paper, the end of month blog post, um, which I believe it's going to be the 20th, but I will post and say the exact date because I'm not really sure on that is going to be a handwritten letter that we write to our oh, future wow. selves. I'm so excited about that. So we're encouraging you to do the same, a handwritten letter. To your future, 10-year ten ten future self. So I am 61, thank God, and so my 10-year self would be 71. So my letter will be to my 71-year-old self. And on the blog post, we are going to talk about what this means to us, the process that we went through. Um, I will be 47 in 10 years, so my 47-year-old self. And hopefully, we'll be celebrating our 10-year anniversary with you lovely ladies. And hopefully, we will be in a great big convention center and we will have hundreds and hundreds of sisters come to celebrate with us. Wouldn't that be awesome? That would be awesome. It's going to happen. Yes, it yes. is. Call it in existence. <laughs> there you go. Um, all that counts in life is intention. I really like this. Um, one of my friends said, uh, she had put a post on Facebook and said the only... Uh, devices so like the actions that you do those are the only things that you own um and it reminds me of this so i really like that um i want to light this and i'm lighting this candle in honor of all the sisters that have promoted us who have forwarded messages who have shared our website who have commented, who have liked, who have done even the tiniest bit to support us. We appreciate you. We love you. You are our sister. And here's to another great year. All right. Happy anniversary to us. Happy anniversary to us. Happy anniversary, call your sisters. Happy anniversary to us. Yay! That was amazing. I love that. I love blowing out candles. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> I'm a party girl. What can I say? I'm a
I also have a quote from one of my favorite people, and if you all have followed us for a length of time, you understand that Maya Angelou is my absolute favorite poet. And I have a quote pulled up from her that I thought would be very appropriate for this time in our, in our season. If you're always trying to be normal, you will never know how amazing you are. Think about that. We in this society have a focus on normal. But in the last few years, we have discovered, hopefully, that the only normal that exists is what is normal for you. What is normal for your family. What is normal for your actions. So if you're always trying to find the normal in the big picture, you are overlooking the amazing person that you are. Let's stop, sisters, overlooking who we are, how amazing we are. The Bible says that we are awesomely and wonderfully made. It says right in the first book of the Bible, that God saw all that he had made and declared it was good. He made us, so we are good. Now, we fall and we falter, we stumble, because that's just the way life is. But the core of us, what makes us amazing, what makes us wonderful, is the fact that we are here. We are here. We exist. We have a purpose. There is something on this planet that only you will be able to accomplish. Oh, you just started coloring without me? Can we share the crayons? <laughs> See, that's why I don't share crayons. People get all possessive of your crayon box. And if I would have said something, she would have got upset because I interrupted her flow. You know that, right? <laughs> oh, look, I got the puppies in the doghouse. I think I'm going to do the puppies with the butterflies, though. So. Um, and that is so true what Bio was saying because for years I, I wouldn't say I was lost, but I felt like I didn't have my calling. Like there were things that I was passionate about, yes, and there were things that I liked to do, but there wasn't anything that, as I like to tell my friends, light your heart ablaze. That's right. And call your sister seriously lights my heart ablaze. Um... I have to stop myself because I will stay up until 2 a.m. doing stuff yes. on the website. <laughs> but uh, the point of that is it, it lights my heart ablaze. I love interacting with the sisters. I love inspiring and uh, creating these moments for you and writing and sharing. Um, I just love every aspect of it. So I'm really glad that I finally listened to my heart, listened to myself. And started this vlog because it has seriously been the best year of my life. Uh, things, ooh, I second that. <laughs> things aren't where I thought they would be after our one year. But there are so many things in the works that are coming up. I'm, I'm so thrilled for uh, our self-care boxes. I know we've been talking about them a lot. But... If you have ever tried to start a project or get something done and you're relying on other people, there's so many things in the mix. So I'm not pulling threads from you. I'm serious. It's in the works. It's coming. It's going to happen. It I have all of my wholesale uh, merchandise. Um, I'm going to start a Kickstarter soon. Uh, and we're going to give you the details on that. So it is coming. Uh, Self-care is so important to me. And uh, I learned through one of my business courses, only 32% of women actually practice self-care on the regular. 32%. That is less than men. Men are practicing self-care more than us ladies. That's because they have women there to care for them. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, your, your mate gets a cough or a sniffle, you go to the store and make sure there's medicine in the house. 
You come to him and say, hey, baby, you know, he's like, I got a backache or my head's hurting. You go get the medicine and you give it to him and he's like, okay, thank you, baby. Okay, so the, don't get it twisted, ladies. They're not doing self-care on their own, okay? <laughs> that is true. We are the ones <laughs> providing the things that help them be able to do practice self-care to a higher level. We need to turn that around. You don't have to have someone to, that's why it's called self-care. Because you can do this yourself. You can care for yourself. And saying no, and I love this, saying no is self-care. You don't have to say yes to everyone that asks you to do something, to go somewhere, to be a part of something. Look at yourself and where you are in relation to what people are asking of you. And take care of yourself. Protecting your peace is a form of self-care. You deserve peace. And I'm not talking about self-care as you a mother, as you a daughter. I'm talking about self-care as you who are watching. The yes. Trishas and the Sallys yes. and the Latashas and the Amandas yes. and any names that I haven't mentioned. Yes. You as a person, you deserve self-care. And if there are people in your life that are getting angry and upset when you decide to say no or you decide to take a break or take a time out from all of the craziness of life and just take care of you, you might want to reevaluate those relationships. Because if someone really cares about you, they care about you totally. They care about your well-being. Your, they care about you, your physical comfort. They care about your mental comfort. So if someone is telling you, oh, you know, you just say no just to say no. Or you don't ever want to come and go anywhere with me anymore. Reevaluate that relationship. Is it something that is benefiting you? Or are you one of the people that has gotten caught up in a relationship where you're always giving and the others are always taking? Don't be someone's toilet. Don't let, don't. I'm sorry, I kind of got up on my soapbox on that one. But it really upsets me when sisters allow other people, whether it's a man or woman, a mother, a aunt or grandma, to dictate how they are to live their life. That, well, you, this is how we've always done it. What are you trying to do something different for? We've never done that in this family. Maybe different is just what your family needs to do. Okay, no more soapboxes, ladies. And see, coming. this is why I give her her own blog post sometimes. Because <laughs> unleashing Via on people is just... <laughs> it just helps everyone. <laughs> she has so much wisdom. Oh, like, you're a sweetie. It needs to be out there in the world. You are such a darling. I wonder who I got that from. I don't know. Probably your dad. He was such a great man. He was a great man, but... <laughs> <laughs> but? There's no but in there. But you're also great. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate hearing that. We've talked a little bit about some of our plans for this upcoming year. And uh, we will be doing another Poetry Slam this year. That seemed to be something that all of the sisters enjoyed and have asked for. Uh, I think we did the last one in March. I'm not going to say that this, the, our first Poetry Slam of 2022 Two. will be in March, but we will do another Poetry Slam. Uh, so start gathering po poems. It can be from your favorite poet. It doesn't have to be something that you sat down and crafted yourself. It can be a poem that you enjoyed as a kid. It can be a poem that touches you now. It can be a scripture, a verse from Psalms in the Bible. Psalms is full of poetry. Uh, the book of Solomon is uh, in the Bible is full. It, I mean, that's a whole love letter. 
so you can just pick out parts of that that speak to you. Um, but get excited about our poetry slam, ladies. We'd like to see a lot of you uh, submit your entries. Uh, if you are shy on camera and don't wish to participate live, you can always submit your poem and either Shar or I will read it and you will get total and full complete credit for your work. Uh, if you do submit something that is an or original work of yours, please let us know so we can give you your props for that. Um, if it's from a favorite author, let us know uh, so we can kind of plug that as well. And I do want to owe an apology because we had a contest, 150 followers. The 150th person would get a plaque from us. Well, I did not realize that Facebook removes who has followed you, removes the notifications who has followed you after every 10 people. Oh, so wow. I was not aware of that, and I do not know who my 150th follower is. So because of that, <laughs> we have 142 likes. Once it gets to 150, I will send that out to the 150th person who has liked it. Um, if you are aware that you were the 150th follower, message me. We will use the honor system and I will get that out to you. But until then, the 150th like will get it. Um, I'm trying to move away from Facebook just because on my website, I have more control. That means if you are not a subscriber of us, you will miss out on contests. You will miss out on our monthly newsletter. You will miss out on knowing when our when our gift boxes ah. go on pre-sale. And when they go on pre-sale, there's an extra goodie in there for you if you do order the pre-sale. So if you haven't subscribed, you're not gonna get all of that. Go to our website, callmysister.com, Hit the subscribe button. The subscribe option is at the bottom of each of our pages uh, to subscribe to us. So you don't miss out, sis. Our letter at the end of the month, again, we want to encourage you to, whether you share with us your letter or not, it, it's a personal letter. And you may not feel comfortable sharing that with all of your sisters. That is fine. But we do encourage you to write the letter and then just... Send us a comment and let us know. You know, I did my letter. It was the worst thing I've ever done in my life. I enjoyed the experience. I'm never going to write another letter. Whatever your feelings are, uh, let us know when you write your letter to your ten -year, future 10-year self. Please let us know how that went for you. And if you have any, if, any ideas or you want to hear our take on anything be it current news, be it relationship advice, be it motivation, let us know. We are always open for new ideas, uh, new ways to motivate and encourage you and continue the sisterhood. And this, is, our sisterhood is not just about the feel-good feelings, ladies. If you are going through something and you are struggling, you can message us and we will, do, we will answer you in private. We are here for you, not just on our blogs, not just on our website. We are here for you. We are here to create a community of sisters who actively care about each other. So don't go through anything by yourself. You don't know. There may be a sister in our group that struggled with that very same thing last year and has overcome, and she can help you. That's what this is about. Shows the tagline, remember you can always call your sister. Not being cutesy, although it is very cute. It is but adorable. Just to let you know we're here. Um, I'm available on Facebook Mas Messenger. Um, my phone number, my phone number is listed on our website. It's listed on our business page on Facebook. So feel free to reach out if you need help, if you need a listening ear just because you've had a bad day and you want to know somebody's on the other end of that phone. But we love you. Thank you for spending our one-year anniversary. And 
it's going to be so much more than this so buckle in and stay tuned all right love you sisters and remember you can always call your sister